looking at the early days things. Things that were left behind might be stone tools, might be grinding stones, might be the old wheelchairs. And together with the animal, they start putting together a story. You fellas know how your mum and your dad and your grandfather and your grandmother lived. Where are the pictures for this? And Bergie can help get the pictures from the past. We've got microscopes that you're all going to have a go at. And the first thing we're actually going to look at are fingerprints. If you put your finger under there, other way, hang on, we'll try and get it in focus. It's not in focus yet. Whoa! Huh. There we go. We might bring it up a bit. Look at that. And <laughs> The first thing that we're going to look at are stone tools that have been left here by your grandfathers, grandmothers, great grandfathers, great grandmothers. From that car over there to here, I think there's nearly a thousand stone tools. I'd like you all soon to go and find one and we'll look at yours under the microscope. This is some of the ones that are just nearby. The interesting thing about a stone tool is it's had to have been hit from a bigger rock. So we found a bigger rock over there that had a whole lot of little scars on it from where it had been hit. And one of these ones had popped off the rock. So there's at the top, there's a flat bit and that's like the platform. So that's where it was struck or hit by the other rock. And you'll see often, and I'll pass this around, there's a little bulb, like a little bump on it. That was the inside of the rock. I want you all to find a stone tool. And like I said, there are thousands across here. <laughs> got here this is up at the top where it was hit actually this one could have residue oh, this is so these are amazing look at this sharp bottom now we can make that twice as big Oh, you can see. Oh, 
We're gonna stop here. Peter, my love, Peter, go and go and go. We can have a look at all the little wheelchairs, all the little humpies. This area is protected. Um, where all the humpies, all humpies are. Um, our families moved over here in the early 70s uh, to set up, set up, set up their home, set up their community. So this was where they settled because um, singing rock, there was a water that which we're gonna go to later on. So the ranger team here at Blackstone's quite committed to looking after this area. We're quite conscious of having fire within this area as well. Um, just with the idea that um, with the buffalo grass here is starting to swallow some of the wiltures. So we do spend a bit of time out here trying to eradicate some of the buffalo grass for the sake of fire because we understand that with lightning or people might wanting to camp here and things that fire is a high risk of actually burning and completely losing our wiltures here. All around here, if you look very, very closely, there are traces or there's little leftovers from all the people that you are talking about. So down here we found material, woven material. There's food, there's cans, but there's also <laughs> different stone tools. There's actually, they're not stone, they're made out of glass. So the glass is more recent and it was down outside all these homes are all sorts of things. Just here we found a beautiful piece of gypsum. Something you would rarely find when you do an archaeology dig, but it's all here. This, this, this country is alive with activities that weren't that long ago, but we would never find anywhere else. And when you look across to the hills over there, that's where the water is. The place that they call Singing Rock to the Swallow Dara. This one here, you can see they used to put it here and, and grind the seeds. Only one now. You know there's water nearby. So we're going to put some water on. Yeah. Let the water soak into the rock. Yeah. And then pulls out of the rock any old leftovers that it wants. And we put it in a little, 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 little tube and we put it under the microscope. And the first thing we need to do is brush it because we don't, <coughs> we don't want to have all these other bits on the rock. If you think when everybody is grinding, little bits get pushed into the rock. That's why I think I want to go to the house. I want to go to the house. I want to go to the Lots of muscle. So these are pipettes. They're called pipettes. 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 I push the button down put it into the water and there's just a little bit of water in that pipette. Big button down and put this in 
and then let it go and That's I've it. got a water. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put the water on this grindstone. One, we're putting it down and we're pushing in and back. And then we're going to get some in our pipette, put that water in there. That is all we take away. So now we're going to put it a two-way signs. Put this under a big microscope and we will see what was in the rock, hopefully. My name is Marcia Mitchell. I'm from Blackstone. I work with all the kids for like NPY youth. We've been camp other side of Warrodara for one night with all the kids from Mandamaro, Eironjo and Bapulanguda. Come to show and learn two way signs. Ngapaji Ngapaji Kutara. Learning two ways. See this little thing here? Yeah. It's called Scaniverse. And we're going to start a new scan from down here, all around, all over here. And let's see what we've got. Some of the tops have been knocked off. See how that is all flat now? And that's from all that hard, hard work. Do you want to take a photo? We can, we can, we can get the kids to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think this is. We're going to do a sample on this one. Oh, well done. Wow, well done. And put the lid on. How good is that? You are. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dino lights. Oh. And we're going to look at the guano under the dino light and see if we can see what the animal is eating.
it show us like like some thing like animals inside yes. some yes. hands yes. Yes. of like this. the early days or some feathers early days tar kan ka palon bin be kamur to kanya tinet para palchol pe tito wen pangana yowa kemol ko nangata malo ge malo na peta de parne lo carpe tight ni mal pai yana ngolo had a fix like spear throwing and they put it at the end tight ni tight ni mal pai yowa en kata de ngor ko tarana kamol ko tar kan ka so what I've done is printed off some of the two-way science teaching and learning cycle pages. I want to tie everything into the two-way science learning cycle and how this whole week and what we're doing ties in with it. The most important step of the process is the indigenous knowledge which frames everything that we're doing. And this becomes the basis of our planning and what we do for the term in collaboration with the ranger group and with the, the local people. The dino lights is just scratching the surface and don't be limited by where they can go. You can incorporate them into everything. When we're talking about I'm an art specialist by trade, so we're talking about how can you use that art. And because they're on such a you know the microscopic level of things and there's beautiful colours and speckles and bits and pieces that you just can't see uh, straight up. We found in all classes the dino light was not only used for what we were looking at. The kids got fascinated with their body parts, their nails, and saw growth lines on their nails. And one of the students said, is this like on the shells? So they'd taken it in from the shells. We're coming into spring, it's period of green. And that's when everything is going to look beautiful. The yultakorn has already started. Imagine putting them under the dino light rather than western plants. Yeah. I think that's something that you can actually have a look and see the structure that's the piece of timber. And, and then they can see the effect of having a dense piece of wood and a very light or maybe porous yeah. piece of wood. And the kids have a deep knowledge that we can't understand. So letting them lead in that way mm. at times is good mm. to know what they're interested in, know what they're seeing. The things they're seeing can be completely different than the things we're seeing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. My brain's ticking out and like, on country trip. Yeah. <laughs> Scat's crazy looking at how things with different textures, whether it was the bone or the plants or teeth or hair, and the kids seem to really be into that. The dino is limitless in what you can do. So this is why we do two-way like science, yeah. because it gets kids in the door, yeah. and they want yeah. to be at school, and they want to go out in country. We've seen it again and again and again across all the campuses that kids really connect with school, yeah. and it also makes school meaningful for them.